Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jack, this is JTH Books, and I have a unnecessarily large book haul to go through. So let's, let's just crack on. So yes, I've been a little bit sad. What do we do when, when I'm sad? I buy books. That's all I have to do. I have very been kindly been sent some books and publishers. A book was sent to me off my wish list, which I'm very, very, very grateful for. And, um, God, the books, there's so many. I think we should just crack on because there has been so many books. Probably not that many. I wouldn't like, I'm not talking like 60, you know, you don't need to, um, you know, feel Jack, you're out of control. I'm just a tiny, just a tiny, tiny weeny bit out of control. But I always am. That's why I think you need to come back. Uh, so let's start off with the ones that I was very kindly sent for. Some of these you have seen already, like they've been in the TBRs or whatever. But other than that, a lot of them are going to be new to you. So let's crack on. Oh, I'll start with the one you've already seen, which is Providence by Craig. We'll see. This comes out in April. This is kindly sent to me by Union Square. Very excited for this one. I've heard big things. I've heard it's a wild ride. And I'm, I'm in the mood for a wild ride. So we'll, we'll see. Then Faber Books very kindly sent me The Lost Love Songs of Boise Sing by Ingrid Purcell. Now, Ingrid is the author of Love After Love and Booker Prize shortlisted. Booker Prize shortlisted. You might see that book later in the hall. Um, very excited for this one. I don't know much about this one. All I know is that it sounds brilliant. Then I was very kindly sent Grow Where They Fall by Michael Doncourt. Now this is about Kwame who we see growing up and then 20 years later and it's him dealing with his life and his sexuality and I'm very very excited for this one. They offered it to me and I was like please please I'll, I'll, I'll gladly take that. Thank you so so much. Thank you. And then we have Daniel Deconstructed by James Ramos. Now in this we follow Daniel who thinks his friend Gabe and his BFF Mona would make a brilliant couple but then Gabe lets Daniel know that he's more interested in him than he is Mona. So I'm very excited to see how that plays out. You know you know, I'm still willing to give YA a chance. It's just not something I'm going to reach for that much anymore, I don't think. But who knows? Who knows? You never know of me. It could just be, I could love it again tomorrow. And then very kindly sent to me by Book Break. There'll be a link down below. We have James by Percival Everett. Now, Percival wrote The Trees, which was, again, shortlisted for the Booker Prize. Um, I have never read a Percival Everett book, but I'm very, very excited for this one. I've heard brilliant, brilliant things about this one. This is a retelling of the adventures of Huckleberry Finn, which I've never read. So maybe I'll read this first and then I'll compare it. Then I'll compare Then I'll read that one because I do own that one, I think. And I'll compare the two. But retelling, so I'm very, very excited for this one. And then because I haven't, you know, I've had a lot going on. I haven't been feeling that well lately. My friend with Fenway, I hope you're watching. Thank you so, so much. You sent me uh, Fence Volume 2. I can't tell you how much I appreciate this. And you and our chats, you just... You made you made you made my week when you sent this to me. I told you that. I did tell you that. But I'm telling you again, are you listening? You made my week. Thank you so much. This is so generous and so kind, and I really, really do appreciate it. Now let's go on to the books that I brought. Because you know, you know there's gonna be some. Well, I will say as well, with these, I had three vouchers. These what they're called one for all vouchers. I got them from work for my like Christmas bonus, and I didn't know how they worked, but you can use them on Waterstones. I've been I've just been saving them up because I thought I don't know what to spend them on. And then I found out you can use them on Waterstones. You can bet they've gone. They have gone, those vouchers. I had them for like, I had one for like three years. Gone. Gone in seconds. <laughs> so I did buy Far From the Madding Crowd by Thomas Hardy. I actually studied Thomas Hardy in school and I really loved his poetry. And I read Tess of the D'Urbervilles by Thomas Hardy, which might be my favourite sort of classic. And um I saw Eric. I'll link him down below. I'll link the video down below. He was talking about classics to do and he was like let me know if you're reading and I thought yeah I'm gonna try and read a classic this year and he mentioned this one and I thought I love Thomas Hardy so I'm gonna read Far From The Madden Crowd too. So I bought the Clockbound edition. Some people love these, some people hate them but bees. I love bees. I've said it on the channel before I love bees. So when I saw this I thought yeah you're coming home with me. That was a TikTok trend I don't know why I said that. <laughs> then I bought a signed copy of Raptured Road by Sean Hewitt which is a book of poetry. That's right. I'm a poetry girl now. I'm poetry. Poetry. Um, I love Sean's uh, book, All, Dark, All Down Darkness Wide. As soon as I saw this, I thought I'm having it. And then I brought the signed copy too. Because I'm trying, I'm getting into signed copies. I'm getting into signed copies. <laughs> then I brought Change by Edouard Louise. Translated from the French by John Lambert. I don't know much about this one. I just, it came out sort of recently. And I, I think I actually pre-ordered it. And, um, 
I've just, I've just, people have just been loving it. People have been loving all his books that they've sort of re-released. So if they love this one, I will definitely be buying his backlist. Well, I shouldn't say it really sure because I need to stop buying books, but I'll, I'll look them up and maybe they'll just show up in my house, but I won't have bought them. And then I bought The Boy Who Fell From The Sky by Benjamin Dean. Benjamin Dean, I read whatever he writes. I've loved his two, this is young, uh, this is middle grade and I've read his two previous middle grades and I gave them both five stars. I loved them. And look at this. Sprayed edges, sprayed edges. But this is signed too. <laughs> I pre-ordered this one. And um, I, yeah, middle grade. Probably the one middle grade I'll read this year, but I'll read whatever he writes, I tell you. I think like he's got another two books coming out soon and I'll, I'll be there, I'll be there front of the line buying them. I told you, didn't I tell you this would be, didn't I tell you, Glinda, didn't I tell you this would be here? Love After Love by Ingrid Purcell. I just want it. Winner of the Costa Prize, which doesn't exist anymore, so maybe let's click that off. But shortlisted for the Booker Prize, I've heard brilliant, brilliant things. Maybe I'll do like a little double whammy and read one after the other. I probably won't do that. I don't know why I said that. That's not who I am, is it? When will I, I'll read this in like six years. And then next up, I bought The Gallopus by John Ransom. Now, John Ransom won the Polari Prize. I did a uh, reading vlog for the Polari Prize, that, where he won. I sort of thought he might win. It was unlike all the other books, really. It was sort of a visceral book, and I'm excited to see how this one is different. All I know is this one is sort of set from the 1950s to the 80s, and I, it follows three men, three men and one secret. So I'm very intrigued by this. I feel like, well, could he be nominated for the Polari Prize again? Would I just have to, do I have to wait? <laughs> Oh, I have to think about that. I have to think about that. But I feel like I could pick this one up really soon because I'm very intrigued by it. The more I think about his first novel, the more it, I think it really did make an impression on me. And then I bought Bluets by Maggie Nelson. Now, this is a non-fiction book and it is... Bluets winds its way through depression, divinity, alcohol and desire, visiting along the way with famous blue figures, including Joni Mitchell, Billie Holiday, Leonard Cohen, Andy Warhol. I just... I've heard brilliant, brilliant things about this. It's not even 100 pages, but I've heard brilliant things. I've heard it's beautiful. Oh, I just read a really, that was quite filthy, actually. <laughs> well, I just like, I happened to read a filthy bit. Um, I didn't expect that, but maybe it will be beautiful. <laughs> oh, but I think it would be a good non-fiction book or my non-fiction for the month. And then I brought The Mind Gut Connection. Don't ask. I am unwell. Apparently the doctor told me to buy this book. Don't ask. I'm just going to read this like, I'm reading it now, but like I'm just going to dip in and out. I'm probably going to be reading it over a few months, but I need some help. And the doctor said this might help me, so <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to keep that in. Will I keep that in? Will I keep that book in? I will. Do I need to tell you all that? Oh, well, we're friends. Why can't I tell you that again? <laughs> and then from Gaze the Word, I brought uh, so many of these from Gaze the Word, by the way, just to clarify. Um, Closer by Dennis Cooper. Now, this is the Serpent's Tale Classics collection. I have many of these. No, I have a number three. Three is not many. Three is a few, I believe it's clarified as. But um saw this and I just thought, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna read it. I don't even really know what it's about. I just bought it because of the um because of my collection. And I'm gonna have a look and see if there's more in a minute so I can buy some more. <laughs> no, stop buying books. No, I won't. And then I brought Dee Dee's Umbrella by Huang Jugen. <laughs> and then I bought Dee Dee's Umbrella. This actually arrived today. Um I pre-ordered this. This is um, a queer Korean novel, which I'm very, very excited for. I would like more of them. If you know any sort of queer Korean novels, apart from this one and Love in the City or whatever it's called. Love, Love in the... Whatever it's called. I've got to read it this year, so I should know what it's called. Um, let me know if you know any more, because I would love to read them. But this is from Tilted Active Press. They're a translated fiction publisher. I'm very excited. Very excited for this one. Then I brought Pity by Andrew McMillan. Um, signed to, signed from Gaze the Word. He even wrote, what a pity, our oh, bookmark just fell out. Um, I haven't read any of his poetry, you know, apart from he was an editor in The Hundred Queer Poems, which I absolutely loved. But I've heard brilliant things about this, but then my friend who I did, do really trust sort of said it didn't really come together at the end, so I'm a bit upset about that. But all I know is this is about two brothers and their, one of their sons, and it, you know, talks about mining in the north and drag queens and... I'm excited to see what I think of it because, you know, you just have to try these things. You have to try these things. And I have been waiting for this one. Since I heard about it, I wanted it. So I got it. And then I brought Dark Air by C.S. Pacat. Pacat? Which, also the author of Fence. I've just, you know, there they are. Um, this is the sequel, so I can't do anything about this one. And I haven't read the first one. So I shouldn't have brought this, really. But 
I just feel like I'm going to love this series for some reason, but I probably won't. And it's YA, so who knows when I'm going to read it. But, um, ah, oh, yeah, The Voucher. The Voucher. The Voucher, I just feel like, gives, gave me license to do what I want. Because I thought, you know, what am I just going to spend it on? So, um, actually, I will say The Voucher, it's for restaurants as well. I could have gone out for dinner. Maybe I should have gone out to dinner instead of buying this book. But, who knows? Maybe I'll love it. Maybe I'll love it. It's massive, and who knows? I also brought myself A Minor Chorus, a novel by Billy Ray Belcourt. Now, I've just heard um, brilliant, brilliant things about this. This is a queer Indigenous author and a queer Indigenous story. So, you know, I haven't read that before, so I want to. And I've heard brilliant, brilliant things. And they've got another book coming out this year, which was on my anticipated book. So I thought maybe I should read their debut before that. But somebody who's reading this right now said it's brilliant. So I am excited. And then lastly, another signed book I brought. My Fair Brady by Brian D. Kennedy. Now you all voted me to read his first book last year, which I gave five stars, absolutely loved. I have high hopes for this one. I know, another YA book, but there's that YA authors I will always buy. There's, um, I will always buy, well, if this is good, Brian D. Kennedy, Dean Atta, Adib Karam, and um, Elsie Rosen. You know, okay. Okay, sue me. I um, will buy YA books, but... I, I am very excited. And I brought this sign. I got brought this from America. Signed. Okay? From America. It's supposed to be personalised, but it's not. So that is very upsetting. But it is signed. So, um, yeah. I'm excited. I'm ready. Shouldn't have done it, but I did. I did. <laughs> Friends, listen. It's a little while after. This video still hasn't gone out, but I've had some more book mail. And I thought, let's put it in this video. It's a haul. You know, let's, let's add the books in. So I have some more books to show you. And then we'll wrap up the video. First up, I got myself a finished copy of Blessings by Chukwe Buka Aibe. I love this book. I loved it. I wanted a finished copy. And this is signed because I really like to sign books now. I can't help it. I don't want to be like that, but I am. But I had to get myself a finished copy. Next up, this is very kindly sent to me by Little Brown UK. And it is, it's on the side here, How to Leave the House by Nathan Newman. Now, this came. Look, I even got a t-shirt. Let me show you the t-shirt. And it came at the right time because I'm not can't really leave the house right now. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to quickly tell you what it's about because it sounds like it's going to be a wild ride. It's Nat West's last day before he leaves for university, and there's only one thing on his mind: the deeply embarrassing package he ordered to the house, which still hasn't arrived. He won't leave town without it. Any alternative is too devastating. It's also about a package containing a large sex toy and what happens when it accidentally delivered to the dentist instead of the neurotic 23-year-old who ordered it. I just think it's going to be brilliant. It's out in May. Thank you so much, Little Brown, for sending me this. Next up, kindly sent to me by Dawn Books Publishing and out on August the 15th, we have Why Are Dead? You're Dead by Sam Sachs. I just, I have a feeling about this one. I have a feeling about this one. It's a five-star prediction. It is, it is. It's a five-star prediction. Uh, let's hope I haven't jinxed it. But let's find out what it's about. This is about Ezra, who is a queer Jewish person carrying out their last act of protest outside Trump Tower at New York. And as it's the final moments of their lives, you're looking back over their lives. I mean, it sounds very, very intriguing, doesn't it? And then Kindly Sent Me by Picador Books, and it comes out in July, is Anyone's Ghost by August Thompson. Oh, oh, can I just, side note, August, what, such a brilliant name. I love, love, love the name August. Why aren't more people called August? And if you are, why aren't you in my life? Okay, sorry. I'm going to say again, it's another five-star prediction. It's another five-star prediction. Let's, uh, let me read to you what it's about. The lonely life of 15-year-old Theron David Alden is transformed when he meets Jake. Older, cooler, more confident and startlingly beautiful, Jake likes the same bands, the same drugs, and has the same drive to oblivion. Over the course of two decades, Theron and Jake get high, drift apart, and are brought hurtling back together until a final collision tears them apart forever. Theron wants Jake, and he wants to be Jake, but is Jake brave enough to want him back? Five star prediction, five star prediction. And lastly, kindly sent to me by Orion Books, which is out on paperback now. We have The Daughters of Marderai by Rajashi Varia. Now, this also came with tea, tea, the tea makers of London. Let's, let me quickly show you what's inside. I've got some tea, I've got a candle. Have a, that's very kind, isn't it? That's very, it's very kind. It's just nice. I appreciate kindness. This is the story about a mother and a daughter and their love, and it's about love in all forms. It sounds brilliant. Like I said, it's out in paperback now. Thank you so much to Orin Books for sending it to me. 
So there we have it. I added a few more books on there, didn't I? But I wanted I wanted to show you what I was lucky enough to be sent. So let me know if you're interested in any of these. Let me know if you've read any. Let me know. Just let me know how big your last haul was. And as always, if you want to add any of these to the TBR jar, just let me know. Just let me know and I'll do it. I'm so excited for some of these books. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, there is an unhaul coming next week. So get ready for that. Hit the notification bell and you won't miss it. And I'm going to speak to you all really, really soon.